Okay, in this video we're going to look at an environment in which we can uh, write our HTML. Uh, and so this is called REPL. So I've gone to REPL.IT. So that's the actual path up here. See that? And then I'm going to, uh, you need to sign up. So you can sign up with a username. So you might want to call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. Put your email address in there, something like that, or whatever it is. And then you can uh, put in a password. Okay, now I'm already logged in, so I'm going to go to login and put in there and then put in a pa my password. Now, when you sign up, um, it'll probably ask you a few questions like, Are you a beginner or an expert? If you put expert and you can select three languages Python, HTML, I put Node.js because I'm, I'm interested in that. That's enough to be able to get you going, right? Um, once you've done that. Uh, we need to create a REPL. Now we're going to do a Shackleton exercise. So I'm going to do new repository. It's HTML. That's one of my favorites. And then I'm going to type Shackleton. And that's the name of my REPL. It's public because I'm, I don't need to upgrade my account. So I create that as a REPL. Okay. And then it sets to work. The most important thing here is that we can see that on the left hand side we'll have a file structure on the right hand side we'll have a rendering of the web page and here in the middle we'll have uh, some html so let's look at this first um, i've got html here and end html at the end and inside there i've got a body body and end body and i've got a head and an end head and then some stuff here Okay, so that's just the environment. Okay, if I run this here, nothing appears here. And you could just do a little test after the script. Just try, type test, press the button, and you can see that test arrived here. Okay, so we're quite happy that that's working. Okay, now for the next phase. Okay, for this phase, I've logged into Learn Informatics. I've still got my REPL open here. I've logged into Learn Informatics. I go to coding and computational thinking and I'm going to drop down to the web design here. Okay, so these are the tasks that I'm going to try and complete. And if I go up, the task booklet is here and the exercise files are here. Now, what I want to do here is download the exercise files. Okay, so I'm downloading them. There they are. Okay, and then because I'm using Chrome, I can show in folder. Okay, so that's the next thing I need to do. Okay, so I've found the zip file, coding.zip. I found the web and I've created inside documents a new folder called web design where my coding.zip is. And now the next thing I need to do is right click and I'm going to extract all. And I'm going to extract all into a coding folder. Okay, I've now got my coding folder and inside there I've got web design. So let's see what happens next. Okay, so when I open web design, I'm going to open that up and you'll see I've got a Shackleton text and a Shackleton picture. This is called Shackleton icon JPG and this is Shackleton text. And then if you open this, um, I can open it in notepad. You'll see that it's got some text. Uh, let's just drag the font. Okay, so I've got some nice text about Ernest Shackleton. Okay, so I've now set up this folder. These are the two files that I'm going to require to be used for my uh, REPL on Shackleton. Okay, so what can we do with that? Let's just have a go back to REPL and see what happens next. Okay, so here I am in REPL. Now you remember that I've downloaded two files. I've got the Shackleton text and I've got the icon. So what I can do here is I can now click on the ellipsis here. I can upload a file and I want to get the Shackleton text and upload it. Okay, and then I want to upload my Shackleton JPG as well. Okay, so there's the Shackleton JPG, nicely uploaded. Just select that, and there I've got my Shackleton text. So both of these are open. If I try to open the text, you can see it's there. And if I go to Shackleton icon, I can see the browser, I can see the image there. So make sure you've got the text and the browser there. Okay, 
So now we're actually all ready to start doing some work. So we've managed to create the right folders and files. One more thing, um, we can go to a folder here and add a new folder. I'm gonna call that images, okay? So I've called that images and I'm gonna drag my Shackleton icon into images. I just like those to be in the same place. So images, Shackleton icon, I've got a script, I've got my text, which I'm gonna use in the index page and I'm absolutely ready to go.